guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I was recently on my YouTube analytics page and there's this section that shows you who your viewers also watch. And a lot of you guys watch the Dad Challenge podcast. And I will say, I am a fan of the Dad Challenge podcast because I think he's so real. I love his videos and I just wanna talk about his channel and his mission here because I do agree with everything he stands for. However, notice that I say however because I don't want to say but. But if you guys watch him like you know and hopefully we can have a conversation in the comments down below because you guys all seem to watch him. He's the number one on the list of people that my viewers also watch. So I would love to hear your input. Um, I am going to play devil's advocate a little bit in this video as well just because I am a consumer of family channels. Not a lot of them, um, but I'll get more into that in this video. I guess to just conclude the intro, if you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you be a subscriber. We do a lot of random things here. And if you guys like my commentary, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I try really hard on my Instagram. So it would just mean the world to me if you followed me on there as well. So I first want to start off by saying how I found his channel. And of course, I think we can all agree that we found him through his Micah Stoffer videos. And at first I didn't really like how long his videos were because I'm like, oh my gosh, that's really long. So I think that's probably why I just didn't really grasp as soon as like a lot of other people did. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give him a chance, like, let's see. And he started doing these reaction videos to Micah's videos and doing these parodies. And that really caught my eye because it was something that not a lot of people were doing and it kind of made him stand out, which is obviously one of the biggest things here on YouTube that you need to do. But his videos on Micah were just so funny and they're still funny. Like I really wish he would do more reactions to her. That's kind of how I found his channel. And then he started uncovering more and more of the family vloggers and everything. Josh is so funny. I think the main reason why he has subscribers is because of his personality. And I think that's the reason why he has been so successful. He also keeps it really real. I like that he doesn't really have a filter when it comes to things. And I mean, I feel like that's getting lost here on YouTube. And I've always tried to keep it real with you guys and try to be myself. I love how passionate he is about his mission about making sure kids aren't exploited on the internet. 100% great mission and I don't laugh at a lot of things when I do reaction videos. That's the reason why I don't really do a lot of reaction videos is because I don't react very much. Like when I'm watching a TV show, when I'm watching a video, I just don't really react. I actually laugh and react when I watch his channel. I do, I am a fan of the snark. I mean, when he does those reactions to like Kendall's husband, I think his name's Daniel. Um, I think that's so funny. I really like how he presents his ideas and thoughts because I feel like not a lot of people would have the guts online to say that. They like to hide behind a username on a drama site and that's how they get their messages across. And honestly, those drama sites, a lot of those people can be really, really mean. And even though some people could think that Josh is really, really mean. I mean, at least he's putting his face out there and being himself and sharing his opinions and not being afraid or ashamed of who he is and his thoughts. I've said this before, but I really like the snark videos because I find that they're really entertaining and they also are bringing the message that he's trying to convey as in don't compare yourself to these people in their perfect lives. Um, I think people forget that they are humans and because they only share the high highlight reel of their best parts of their life, people can really forget that. And it makes you feel more human when another human's just being like, okay, this is just a bunch of bullshit, you know? <laughs> like in the grand scheme of things, someone who just needs to call them out and he's just calling them out. And I really like that because there's just not a lot of people that do that. I really like his message. And this is probably the biggest thing I agree with him on, which might get me a little ratioed as he would say. But the biggest thing 
that I really like that he's doing is really bringing to the light that some of these family vloggers are not honest. And I think that's what bugs me the most about this world. A lot of things aren't honest and I don't know how any change can happen with that, but there's just certain things that you can just tell that are not real. And you know, in your favorite reality TV show, there aren't things that are real. Everything's fake. So I guess if you're looking at a family vlog, you definitely need to look at it with the glasses of reality television because they aren't going to always be honest. Some people, and I go back and forth with this all the time, are you obligated to be honest with your subscribers or are you not? And I'm, I'm in between that because it is kind of like reality television, but I feel like on the other hand, they do owe some honesty to subscribers because they develop this relationship because they're trying to sell you products because they're an influencer. I don't know. Another thing that I really like that the Dad Challenge podcast brings to light is the analytics. He had to stop doing that because um, the company reached out to him and stuff. So I thought it was very interesting and it's almost a little scary when you think about the audience that's watching these certain channels. It's very eye-opening um, and I definitely think that I'm kind of glad that he's exposing that element of it, at least the engagement statistics on channels just so you as the consumer know um because not a lot of people share that information obviously i also really like the way he speaks it's very easy to understand it's very clear um i feel like he just keeps it real and obviously he had a family vlog he even admits that he did that with his kids and everything so um yeah there's just a lot of things that i i genuinely like the dad challenge podcast and everything i think now i'm gonna get into the part that people probably might not agree with me on and um, if I forget anything that I like or dislike or disagree with I will leave it in the comments down below. I consume some family vlogs and I know that that a lot of you guys would disagree with that because a lot of my viewers also watch the Dad Challenge podcast which are probably anti-family vlogger people. I don't know but I'm gonna say that I do watch family vloggers. I genuinely and I'm I'm being real like I am being completely honest with you and I think that we just talked about honesty so I like family vlogs because one day yeah I kind of want to not necessarily have a family vlog be the my entire life but I do want to put my kids online in a way but I think that there is a fine line to walk and I definitely have had a lot of conversations with like my parents and friends about this because it's something that I've always wanted to really do and I know that Again, a lot of you guys would disagree with me, which is totally fine. I would definitely be careful of like what I'm sharing online, I think. I'm not against family vlogging because eventually I might want to do it. And I think it's super fun. You get to watch kids grow. Yes, you do get to make money, but how many, there's so many opportunities that people can get and give their children with through family vlogging. And I know that people would say, well then find a job that allows you to give you those kids opportunities. Without having to family vlog. That's a good argument. And maybe I would try to do that, but like I want to be home with my kids and with everything. And I say this all the time, with the good comes the negative. So if you're going to put your life online, you're going to be subject to criticism. And be putting your kids in front of dangerous people and places and things, even in the real world. And yes, you can get another job to give your kids that opportunity, but it just comes down to if you want to do that or not. And if you can make money from posting your life online, and maybe that includes your kids, then I'm not against it. But I do know that kids can't consent. I think that there just needs to be rules in place. Like Josh also says, you need to have that that barrier of like what income goes to the child, what income goes to the parent. I know what I just said probably doesn't really make a good argument for my case. I'm definitely gonna be careful about what I post. I want to be educated on 
the demographics of the people watching kids online. I want to be educated on the playlists that people that have bad intentions watch like clearly that's a thing another reason why i consume family vlogs is because i kind of it's kind of like this will sound weird but you're kind of living vicariously through them so if they're sharing like cool awesome experiences it's like you get to live through that and i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but i do however see how it's just them flexing on like stuff that you don't have and everything but again as a viewer you need to be educated enough to know that that's what's happening. I also know that a lot of them do change over time. I mean, again, I do watch family channels and I do see a change, but there's an argument that everyone changes for the good, for the bad, whatever. But I do think money and fame and everything does change. And I think that's why a lot of these family vloggers do lose a lot of their core original subscribers and followers. That's why whenever I get like that, please call my butt out and please like bring me back to who I am because I never want to be like that. I've already had this conversation with one of my good friends so hold me accountable as well. I don't know what else to say about that but yeah I kind of live vicariously through them like I can't wait to have my own kids and family I think that's gonna be an awesome time in my life whenever that comes there comes another argument where the viewer shouldn't have to be responsible for that I don't know I just feel like YouTube needs to put some regulations I know that went from like one point to another point but yeah just regulations need to be put into place because clearly the family vlogs that i watch do i agree with everything that they do clearly not like i would not share like my daughter's first period online i don't think that that's really appropriate that's just me so i definitely think there needs to be like rules where like youtube says you cannot make videos about xyz but um i don't know how often or if anyone would follow those rules so in the grand scheme of things, do I agree with everything that family vloggers do, the ones that I watch? No, but it's not like I agree with everything that like my friends do with their lives. You know what I'm saying? But it's none of my business. So I kind of just, again, take it with a grain of salt and just watch for the entertainment aspect. Yeah, I do think I agree that there needs to be regulations in place and more education on this subject. Yeah, I don't know if this video is making any sense. It's literally just me rambling about my thoughts. And yes, I'm playing devil's advocate when I say that like, I watch family vlogs, I wanna have a family vlog, but I do like what the Dad Challenge podcast is doing. Some people say that he's like mean and to get the point across, you can't make fun of people just laugh a little like really people you weren't you're gonna say that don't be i swear if you just watch one video you will laugh you're talking you're looking at someone who never laughs at almost anything i watch on tv or youtube so anyway um i think that's gonna be it for this like rambly video about the dad challenge podcast family vlogging my thoughts there definitely needs to be a law a coogan law something like it. Regulations on the types of videos that you're allowed to make and what the child is like maybe wearing or doing just because, you know, it's, you know, crazy. I just want to say, I don't watch like the big, big, big family vloggers. Like I don't watch Ace Family and I don't watch like the LeBrants. I just want to make that note. I don't know why I just wanted to include that. But um, yeah, I, I know that this video is like all over the place and random, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys start some conversations in the comment section down below. Um, maybe you've been following the Dad Challenge podcast as well. And you also watch my videos because that's what my statistics are saying. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.